Hello, today we're going to talk uh, 8.4. Uh, it's more multiplication properties of, of exponents. And really, the big thing here is the power uh, to a power rule today. So we're going to look at examples 1 and 2 in lesson 8.4. This is a whack, so when you see the quick checks pop up, pause your screen, work on those two or three problems. Uh, and then push play and then go to the next example. So uh, here is where we're at in our book, 447 to 452. So let's take a look at what the power to the power rule looks like. All right. So raising a power to a power. Uh, here's the orange box. Please look over this. It's very important. Uh, this is a power to a power rule. So two powers, two exponents right next to each other. Okay. So this is 5 to the 4th squared. All right, and how do we solve that? The key here is when raising a power to a power, you multiply the exponent. So I'm going to do what they do right here. 4 times 2 is 5 to the 8th, uh, and we're good with that uh, answer. And then with variables, same thing, x squared to the 5th. So again, these powers are right next to each other. These exponents are right next to each other. Uh, it kind of looks like uh, what some students have described to me as this one really doesn't have a base, but its base is x squared. But it's x squared to the fifth, 2 times 5 is 10, so my answer is x to the tenth. Um, and where uh, the mistakes we're going to see on these problems are basically um, either adding these two or not identifying when we get, we get later into the chapter, not identifying the difference between uh, a like basis at exponents rule and a power to power rule. So remember, when these two guys are right next to each other like this, it's a power to power and we multiply. Okay, uh, here's another kind of vague example. a to the m to the nth is a uh, m times n. So again, look at this orange box. It's on page uh, 447 if you want to see it at home anytime. Uh, take a look at them if you ever get confused. Um, describe what this situation looks like. So again, this is what you want to think about. Uh, there's parentheses. There's kind of, if you think about it this way, one base, right, one big number, uh, two exponents. Uh, and then, like I said, some students describe it one exponent, like the 5 here or the 2 here, without a base. So there's just a one big base and two exponents right next to each other. All right? So let's take a look at some problems. Uh, here's example 1. It's about as easy as it gets, simplifying a power raised to a power. Um, we're going to start with x uh, to the 4th to the 3rd power. So again, we have the one big base, two exponents right next to each other. The power to a power rule says multiply these two. And this is a one-stepper. We are done. x to the 12th. 4 times 3 is 12. Uh, probably the biggest mistake would be to write this as 7, so adding. So using the like bases at exponents. But again, there isn't a like base. There's only one base. Uh, now, how can we incorporate negative exponents into these problems? Well pretty easily. Uh, similar problem, except now our x is to the negative fourth. Do your power to a power first before you move anything. All right. So we're going to do power to power. Negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. But you know we can't have that negative exponent. Uh, negative exponents do not make this number negative. They make it a fraction. So this becomes 1 over x to the 12th. All right. So again, to remove this, I put it in the denominator. It's in the numerator now put in the denominator to get rid of the negative exponent. All right. Now, what I'd like you to do is try these two problems. They're just like the, the two above here. So you can take your time, pause the uh, video, work on these two, and then continue on. All right. Here's example two, simplifying an expression with power. So we're going to add a little bit to this. All right. Still power to power rule. All right, a couple of things I want to talk about. Simplify expressions in parentheses first. If you can multiply something together, do it. Uh, coefficients, possibly like base add exponents if they're both in parentheses. All right. Um, once you've simplified inside the parentheses first, uh, order of operations, exponents before multiplication. What does that mean in these power to power and like base uh, add exponent situations? It means do power to power before like bases add exponents. I'd really like you to write this down uh, in some notes so you can have this uh, little bit of information. Uh, maybe you might want to start a note card. This would be a great thing to put on a note card for the Chapter 8 test. All right along with those orange boxes. Uh, here we go. So let's take a look at an example 2 problem. All right. So I have b squared times b cubed to the negative second power. 
So again, I'm going to follow this blue line, uh, or this part here. Simplify expressions in parentheses first. The only thing in parentheses is b cubed. There's nothing I can do to b cubed. It's all by itself in there. So I'm going down to basically here, use power to power before like bases. So I do have like bases here, but I don't want to get b to the fifth first. I want to do the power to power. So I'm going to do 3 times negative 2 and make this b to the negative sixth. Okay. Now I'm going to do like bases at exponents. So I got b squared times b to the negative 6. 2 plus negative 6 is negative 4. So I get b to the negative fourth. Okay. And again, I can't have a negative exponent in answer. So I've got to move the b uh, to the negative fourth down to make it positive uh, 4. So I get 1 over b to the fourth. So uh, I really like how the book presents this material. We're getting a review of all the sections we've covered so far. Uh, so you get to see this stuff over and over and over again. We just add a little bit every time. Um, let's take a look at your quick check. So again, um, you're going to uh, do a whack for this. So your first two attempts were the uh, problems on the last slide, and you're going to do these two as well. Okay. Uh, looking here, this A here is just like this problem. So take a look at this problem and see how it progresses through. This one a little different. Uh, remember, power to power before you do any multiplication. So take care of this, take care of this, and then you'll have uh, something that you can do like bases at exponents with at the end. All right. Uh, hope this video helps. Remember, it's a whack. So the first two problems on the last side, these two problems. Uh, take some notes on this stuff, and I will see you guys next time.